So what we're going to do now is we're going to talk about functions that have multiple parameters, right? So you can see in our program that we have here, we have this function uh, draw rectangles and it has one parameter called colors, okay? You can define a function to have more than one parameter. So for example, if I wanted to, if you notice how I use these 50s here, right? I can say, let's do function and size, right? I can create a second parameter, okay? And instead of using these 50s here, I can replace all of these with the word size, okay? And so now when I call on this function, it's going to expect to see two parameters, okay? And it's gonna be a little bit more, you know, uh, convenient for us, right? Because now we can define not only the color of the fill, but also the size of the rectangle. So now if you, I run this program, you're gonna see we get an error message, right? So when I hit run, it's saying, here's, here's the error on line six. You called this draw rectangles with green and draw rectangles is missing one argument called size, right? Now that we have colors and size, Okay, we have to give it both colors and size. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a comma and we'll say, let's say like 30, we'll make it a little smaller, right? So if I called the draw rectangles function and I say, I want the color fill to be green and the size of this, the square to be 30 pixels, there it is, okay? I can change this parameter and make it like 90, okay? And there it is, right? So now I have the ability to change not only the color, but also the size because I have to find multiple parameters, right? So this is expandable, uh, but you, you also have to uh, make sure that when you call on it, that you call each of the parameters that you've defined, okay? So here's some things to be careful about when you're using multiple parameters. First one, if you create multiple parameters, your call has to match, right? So I can't do what I just shown you there. If I just called green without size, the size of 90, right? I will get an error message. Okay, the number of parameters has to match, the number of arguments that we use in our, our call has to match the number of parameters, right? So let's fix that, okay? So now it will work, okay? That's the first thing. Second thing, you have to put the parameters in the correct order, right? So if I called on this one and I said, let's put size first, okay? We're gonna get an error message, okay? If I run this, okay? And our error message here might look a little bit confusing, but here's a, basically what it's saying. It's saying it fills it, it went to 90 and it plugged that in for colors. So it tried to do something fill equals 90, right? And it's saying that doesn't make any sense to me. I can't fill in, I, there is no color called 90, right? And there is no size called green, right? So because th this 90 is always gonna correspond to the first parameter, right? And it's gonna fill it in there. And so if our order is not correct, okay? Then uh, it will fill them in incorrectly the way that you asked for, but incorrectly, okay? So keep track of that, okay? Okay, so that's part two. We can do functions with as many parameters as we want. We can have 20 or 30 of them if we want, and that's fine, right? Okay, so that's that's another thing to keep in mind, okay? We can also define something that has no parameters. So for example, again, I can take this and I can say, let's get rid of the parameters altogether, okay? And if I'm gonna do that, I have to fill in the parameters, right? There's no variables for me to fill in, okay? So that means that I have to be more specific, okay? And then this is not gonna be a very exciting program because now it, it's only gonna draw a 50 pixel square that is green, right? I can't really do a whole lot else other than that, right? So I have to actually go in and fill this in, okay? And when I call it, okay, I'm not gonna fill in anything in the parentheses because there are no parameters here. So when I click run, it does the job, but that's all it does, right? It's nothing more exciting than just drawing three green rectangles, okay? So if you notice, when I called draw, draw rectangles the function, I did still have to put up an open and close parentheses, even though they are empty. And that lets the program know, hey, I'm calling on this program and I'm giving you nothing, right? So when it goes to the definition and it looks to see what it's supposed to have, it can see, oh yeah, like I wasn't supposed to get anything. This makes sense, okay? So it is possible to create functions that have no parameters.